What is up, Tube? And welcome back to another tutorial by Big Al's Barber Channel. Guys, what we're going to do here, guys, is we are going to do a number two on top. Number two on top. Uh, zero fade. Uh, but we're going to go uh, against the grain, guys. Against the grain. Not with the grain, but against the grain. He doesn't care about uh, keeping the rolls because his hair is very, very thick. So normally when you're doing a haircut like this, you can't go against the grain, guys. But this haircut is going to do, uh, we're going to go with the grain. So basically what I hear what I'm using first, I'm doing the number three and a half on him. I did a number three and a half first. He wanted to see what it looked like. Uh, so we're doing a number three and a half on top number three and a half and we're just right now we're just going with the grain we're going with the game we're not going to even go against it yet what the machine we're using here guys is we're using the octane uh and as you guys know the ostra octane is a uh, is an it, basically what it is is an ostra an ostra if you guys don't know is is uses detachable blades detachable blades are different than than a regular uh, uh than using plastic clips uh, on detachable blades there's only certain blades there's a three and a half there's a two there's a one and a half a one a a one then some people use a five zeros four zeros you know three zeros i i don't really use the zeros i just use a bit the bigger blades but you know it, it, it when you're doing um ethnic hair or, I, or i'm gonna use the word black hair when i'm using this man is gentleman's black when you're doing bl black hair i notice the difference when you're doing using uh detachable blades and when you're doing uh regular blades uh, uh clips so right here he wants it very very tight but he doesn't want to go lower than a three and a half right off the bat so we're just going against the grain now we're going against the grain first we went with the grain we we're just trying to kind of just take it down see how we were at and then he decided he i think well i already know he, he he likes me to go against the grain he doesn't just like to go with the grain so we're going back and forth every single way you know what i mean we're going from the front to the back and the back to the front just getting it all nice and even all nice and even again guys there's different ways of doing this haircut if he didn't want to go if he didn't want to lose the curls and he wanted to really keep the curls the waves on top then you need to go with the grain only there's other videos where I'm gonna show you guys how would you go with the grain only but this one is different this one he likes to go both ways so you can see when I went back the opposite way it really brought it down a lot more brought it down shorter so now we're going to come back the other pussy way since we picked it up you can see the little waves right there we're just kind of knocking them back forward and now it's taking down more and this is using detachable blades again guys this is an ostrich i'm using an ostrich three and a half right now ostrich three and a half just mowing it all down nice and even getting it all to the same length and and again baby brush guys use a baby brush especially when you're doing this type of hair you need to have a brush right there so you can comb it all forward push all the hair forward uh, uh, so that it lays down nice now I'm gonna go back the opposite way again do it one more time go front to back and back to front and guys you know if you guys want to be critical about this haircut it's okay cuz I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna say I'm the best at doing black hair i'm not I, I i'm i'm still learning you guys i'm still learning even you know when, when i first opened my shop i wasn't really good at doing these types of haircuts and, until i just you know i decided to just jump in it and do it and it comes down to one of those things where you know you just gotta do it you gotta try it you know these haircuts seem a little scary but you know in reality they're not guys it, 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 they're just regular type of haircut they're it's a different type of texture hair uh but and, and I, you, anybody could be doing these anybody anybody so you know i just basically started watching videos and asking questions and, and doing what you're supposed to be doing do your homework if you're not good at these type of haircuts then you got to get good at them get good at get good at good at doing any type of haircut so right here you guys i'm just still using the three and a half and i'm basically just going both ways sideways from the front to the back back to the front 
just still trying to get it even uh trying to take it down as much as possible remember guys i could have sped this video up but you know I'm, like i do my tutorials i always do them in real time so we're just gonna we're gonna skate along i'm gonna be talking to you guys explaining the hair and the haircut to you so that we we could do it in real time so right there it, pretty much the top is done I'm gonna get prep right here and I'm gonna start doing my first guideline. Now my first guideline right here, guys, I'm gonna be using the new Babyliss Skeleton uh Skeleterized trimmer, the FX. It's a medium fade, so we're just gonna start right at the eye level and um temple. And we're just gonna create our first guideline. Guys, if you haven't uh seen the my review on this uh gold FX, I suggest you guys check it out, guys. This this trimmer right here is fire. Fire. Probably the best trimmer out there right now. So right there, guys, I'm just kind of basically just creating my first guideline. Uh like I said, it's eye level. We're gonna go straight back. And um, I'm just creating that first guideline. Uh, you know, I've used many machines to do this 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 part of the haircut. Um, you guys use see me using the balder. You guys have used me the the my other T GTX trimmer. But so right now, this is the the the, the, the best trimmer out there, and, and I, I have to back it up. You know, uh, but only durability and, and time will tell. We'll see. Uh, I haven't run into any any issues with the blade yet or, or stuff like that. But you know, it's still like I said, we're still working with it and we're working through it. So again, right here, we're just continuing with our guideline. You can see this machine cuts like butter. Look at this. Oh my. Just creating our guideline, guys, all the way across. Many ways of fading, guys. Many ways of fading. This is my technique. This is a technique that I develop. This is a technique that's good if uh, you're not used to doing black hair and you want to get into doing black hair. And this is the way you do it. This is this is a, the easiest way that I found to do it. And trust me, guys, I've dabbled with using plastic clips. I've dabbled using uh, different machines. Uh, using a, 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 a masters to 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 get to get these haircuts down and, and i found it that using detachable blades is the easiest way of you doing it the very easiest way so remember guys we did a three and a half on top three and a half all nice and even on top we went back and forth there was no uh, staying with the grain we went against the grain also so now we're ready to move on to our next section right here. so what i'm doing right there guys and i'm still doing the number three and a half and i'm kind of just pushing that corner in and and um actually what i did right there guys i mean yeah i should showed you is that i switched the blade and now i'm using a number two a number two because we went remember we went three and a half on top and we're still going against the grain i'm still going downward see right there that's the number two and i'm just coming down with it I don't want to go up yet because you know we're, we're trying to uh, blend it down just going downwards once I go down there is now I'm gonna turn it around and I'm gonna go the opposite way and that's what makes it a little bit lighter as you can see it's starting to blend in a little bit so that's our number two again Pushing it downwards, forward a little bit. Just trying to go with the grain right here. Just pushing it downwards. <clears throat> right now, I'm going to switch my blade now. And I'm going to go with my one and a half. One and a half. And I'm just doing steps, basically, guys. Just doing steps. Now, I'm doing the same thing. Just bringing it downwards. And the reason why I'm doing that, guys, is because it's darker towards the top. So, I'm trying to blend it cut it down the opposite way now i'm gonna flip it around and i'm gonna do the opposite way now it's really gonna line up but i'm not gonna go as high i'm gonna bring it down a little bit lower than i did when i went with the number two because it's the one and a half so you don't go back to the same spot you go a little bit lower below that see we have that darkness right there so that's why i'm gonna go back the opposite way and try to blend it down the opposite way Just trying to, I'm just trying, basically I'm just trying to fade that little section out, that little dark spot, so that it blends right in. Oh, what happened to my camera? I lost my vision right there, guys. Excuse that right there. There it came back. So now that we went with that, now we're going with the 1A, guys. The 1A, and we're going only upwards. 
not as high stay a little bit lower maybe about halfway up you can see that that's the 1a blade the 1a and we're just basically fading up guys fading up i turn it around see and i see a little dark spot right there and i think like man if i come the other way maybe it won't get it too light and that's what it is because the hair's growing downward so if you go down with it it'll bring it the other way so right here again with the 1a blade and we're only going halfway up guys halfway up 1a blade the 1a the 1a is the blade that goes between the one and a half and the one if you guys don't know that about detachable blades now i'm gonna put on my number one blade my number one blade is a is a little bit darker well actually you know what guys that was my number one blade i'm sorry now i'm coming back with my uh wall cordless and i'm basically lever open and i'm and i'm and going across once i go across i'm going to lower my lever a quarter way and i'm going to go back up to the same spot again now i'm halfway and i'm basically pushing that dark shadow up from the bottom up pushing it up blending it up guys pushing from the bottom up just pushing that shadow up Right there, I could tell there's a little bit of a darker spot, so I'm kind of just working right there, using the corner of my machine. So remember, guys, we're just winning steps, basically. It was kind of difficult explaining to me. I, I'm getting better at these videos, but you know, it's, it's still hard, a little bit hard explaining, but right here, you can see I'm going up with my trimmer, and I'm just basically pushing that bottom line up, buttoning it out. So remember, the way we did it with detachable blades, guys, is we went with our number two, one and a half, 1a and then the number one after we went with the number one then we go straight to our our, our wall machine or, or whatever machine you use to fade with lever open and we're going to erase that bottom line simple as that guys you could be saying like um why didn't you just do it with uh clips or, or why didn't you do it um it, it, you know what guys this is just my method of, of doing this type of hair and um just you know I, my trials and and, and and working on these and, and this is how this is my formula for doing this type of haircut and it's the quickest way because in reality this haircut only took me about 25 minutes to do so again here we go we're gonna go in back again with our number three and a half first three and a half okay because we started on top of the three and a half so we're just kind of evening out right above the parietal ridge coming over the parietal ridge coming downwards kind of like kind of like at the same time you're the, the machine's kind of combing the hair you want to lay in lay it in the direction that it lays and that's the easiest way of explaining it you want it to lay down in the direction that it lays just pushing it downward coming against the grain right there going the opposite way get it in all nice and even Same as the other side, guys. One with the three and a half. Now we're switching out the blade. Now we're going to go with a number two. Number two. And then the same thing. We're coming down. First, I come down. I, I, this is just my technique, guys. I come down the opposite way. And then I'm going to turn it around and go the other way. And the, be, the reason being is because when you come down the opposite way, you're going to get a little tighter in that direction. At least that's what I think anyway. So, again, that's the number two right there number two getting it nice and even coming down both directions number two still the same technique guys same technique on each side again when I fade I don't fade all the way around the head I fade in three sections I fade one side the back side and then the other side coming down with that hair right there the opposite direction guys opposite direction I guess I went over it quite a few times. Now we're going to switch out to our number one and a half. One and a half. And this time I'm going to go up to probably the top of the crown. Again, I'm going to come down the opposite direction first just to lighten it up. It's just lightening it up a little bit. And then I'm going to flip it around and go the other way. This is the one and a half. One and a half. You could tell it's already lightening it up from the, from the top of the crown downward. Just, it, it, it's already starting to get a little lighter. Coming the, the opposite way now. One and a half. Same thing. Just lightening up. 
skinny and all nice and light. Shouldn't get too many shadows, guys, because you got if you're going in steps, you know, step fading, and this is what you call step fading right here, and using detachable detachable blades. Again, that's the one and a half right there, still just fading it out. I see a little dark spot right there. See right there? And, and it's you always gotta follow the grain. So if the grain, if you want it nice and even and, and it's going upwards, then you gotta come back the opposite direction, you know. Again, guys, this is my version of this type of haircut. No, I guess you could say this is kind of like the Mexican version of a black black person's haircut. You know what I mean? Uh, I never said I was very, very good at these haircuts, but I have a lot of customers that come back and they, they enjoy the way I cut their hair. So I, I'm assuming that I'm pretty good at them, you know? <laughs> so right here, now we're on the 1A, 1A, guys, okay? We're going up not as high as we went with the one and a half we're staying a little bit lower guys a little bit lower but still lightening it up you can see it's starting to take shape right there now we're going to put the number uh still the one a i'm sorry we need to swap it out there it's the one a so we're going to go from one and a half to the one a now we're putting on the one clip one clip just go a little bit you're about halfway up and this is really gonna line it up but this one when you get to the end you don't want to kind of just go in there and stop you kind of want to let as you can see i kind of little c cup motion at the end of it and that kind of lightens it up but lifts it up and blends it in so that it doesn't just stay there nice and dark and that's it you know you don't want that you want it to blend in so you have to have that little c cup motion at the end as you can see i kind of like nudge it and that creates that part so now we're going to come back with our, 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 our wall, no clip, lever open, and we're going to create a guideline. It's not much of a guideline because it's a one right there, so it's going to be very, very light. As I go across, I lower my lever a quarter way, and I'm going to go back up to the same spot. When I get to that same spot all the way across, and as you can see, I'm using mostly the corner of the machine, guys. You, you, you have to be very aware how you're using your machine. I'm using that corner of the machine, and, and, and as I go across, I, I'm lowering my lever another quarter way. Now I got the lever completely closed, and I'm coming back the opposite way. As you can see, sometimes I swap from side to side. I'll go from the other side of the blade to the other side. So that external, see that bottom line right there that I couldn't get up? Now I'm going to come back with my trimmer and just push that line up. And that's my final blend. Remember guys, leaving a line, a halo around somebody's head is the worst thing you could do in a fade, guys. If you're going to do that, ask for help. Ask your senior barber in your shop. Do not let halos leave your shop. That is the ugliest thing you could do. That's called a chili bowl. You don't want to let a chili bowl go out, you know what I mean? So right there is pretty much done. That side is already done. I'm kind of just working with a secondary line. I put on my half clip. That's a half clip on there. And that's a, I'm trying to fade out the, the shadow that I created when I went up with the half. If that makes sense. It's weird the way I fade, guys. I fade downwards to the bottom. And from the bottom, I fade up to the middle. And then in the middle, I, I, I just blend it all out. And that's just the way I was taught, you know. When you're learning how to fade... Whoever's teaching you how to fade is going to teach you the way they learn, the way they cut. But eventually, when you're getting into the shop and you're doing your work and, and you're working, and you're going to develop your own little system of cutting hair. And I've, I've talked about that in my other vlogs is that every barber has a system of cutting hair. And um, you develop your system and you run with it, you know. Okay, guys, right here we're back again with the three and a half. And we're just pushing it forward, guys, pushing it forward. You can see that the waves on top stayed. So we just went with a three and a half, three and a half. Now I'm gonna put my number two and I'm gonna go back and go in the same direction again. Going from the top to the back because I want I don't want to mess up those waves right there. So that's why I'm not really going against the grain right there. I'm just going with it. And you can see it's already lightening up. So I'm lining up from the from the top of the crown downward. Now I'm gonna put my one and a half on. And I'm gonna do the same thing one more time. Come back from the top to the bottom. A one and a half, same thing. See, and I can see it lightening up right there. It's already starting to take shape. 
We just gotta fade this side out right here, and the fade's pretty much done, guys. Now I'm gonna turn it around, and I'm gonna come back the opposite way with it. You can see right there, and that's a one and a half still. One and a half. Going the opposite way. See how it really, really dark it got light right there? That's kind of a, a one and a, you know, when you're fading, guys, if you guys that are getting started on fading, a one and a half is kind of the standard on the sides when you're fading out. You're going to fade out the one and a half to the top of the crown, and then the crop, top of the crown, you got to connect it. That's your parietal ridge where you connect from the side of the head to the top of the head. And that's where most barbers have a lot of problems. Still one and a half right here, guys. Still one and a half. You already seen the fade starting to take shape. We're doing, we're doing, we're doing re, re, detachable blades here, guys. No, uh, mostly detachable blades. We're using the other machine too, but that's only to fade out the bottom line. So now we're going to come back again. After we did our one and a half, now we're coming back with our one A. One A almost to the same spot, keep it a little bit lower, and basically fading out that bottom darkness right there. See the dark shadow, the dark line at the bottom? We're just trying to fade that out. As we go up, we pull up, doing our little C-cut motion again. Don't just go in there and stop. You have to do a little bit of a C-cut motion. Now we're gonna come back with our number one. So again, same steps as the other side guys three and a half two one and a half one a then the one this is the one we're only going halfway up as we go up, halfway up we're, we're doing our little c cut motion pulling up don't just stop there because if you stop there you're going to create a shadow and that's going to be a very hard shadow to get out right in the middle so now we're going to grab again our wall now what i did is i grabbed my one and a half and i saw a little bit of a shadow up there so i'm just kind of cleaning that up before we before we fade out that bottom line. This is one of my regulars, guys. This is one of our APU students, our uni local university. We get a lot of university students to come to our shop. And and uh, I've been cutting this, this gentleman's hair already for a few years. And, you know, every time I cut it, when I see him come in, I, I, I like cutting his hair because... To me, this is this is a challenge, and you know? I mean, it's fun to cut this happen here. So again, we went with our, our number, our, our machine lever open, and I created a guideline as I went across. I lowered my lever a quarter way again, just fading out from the bottom up. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna put my half clip on and fade out the center line. Same steps we use on the back, guys. I spend them a little bit more thoroughly over there, but it's the same exact steps. Right there, my half clip. I'm just kind of fading out, making sure that there's no little dark shadows. Shadows and lines, guys. Shadows and lines is what destroys fades. Remember that. Get your shadows in order and no lines. Right there, I got the half clip on and I'm just trying to fade it out. Make it look nice and even. Moving along pretty good right here, guys. Uh, right now, we're at 21 minutes on this haircut. So, um, you know, we're doing good. Right there, I'm put on the number two, and, and and I'm basically just working on that little corner right there, that side where where from the parietal ridge to the top of the head, uh, I see a little bit of a darkness there, and I'm, I'm just trying to blend that out a little bit. See, I even put the one and a half right there, and I'm kind of running it very lightly, I'm trying to fade out that corner right there. It's all detail work, guys. You gotta you have to have detail work when you're doing stuff like this. Do your homework, study, you know, uh, and reps, guys. Reps. There's nothing better than reps, you know. Reps is what does it. So right here, I'm going to fade out. Now, now that I'm done with the fade, I'm just going to come back with my Bronze Series 9, guys. Bronze Series 9 shaver. And I'm going to take it down to the skin. Because you know what? Every time I do a fade, I take it always take it down to the skin. Nobody comes in my chair and walks away without coming down to the skin. Not even children. When I get a little kid and they want me to do a zero on him, then he's going to get shaved with this Bronze Series 9 right here. This is the most gentle shaving machine out there. Even people that, that don't like to get shaved, like... A lot of black people don't like to get shaved because they get razor bumps. This young gentleman right here, he doesn't mind because he knows this machine is very, very gentle and um, and it just it leaves it takes it down all the way down to the skin. And I'm like, you won't see nothing there, and that's what makes the difference between a super tight fade and just a regular old fade, guys. I don't know about you guys, but I take pride in giving super tight fades. 
just moving along quickly right here with our bronze series nine you couldn't do this with an andy's foiler or, or a wall uh, detailer you couldn't do this you could, with finale you couldn't do this uh, it, it would take you a lot longer with but with the bronze series nine it moves along quickly leaves it nice and smooth go from side to side clean it all up fade looks nice and tight i don't see no lines yeah, a little bit maybe of a shadow but we go back and clean it up right now see right there i can see that corner right there again and i'm just like looking at it like hmm i gotta bring that down a little tighter so i'm going down with my number two again because remember we did a three on top so if we threw the three on top and that corner is a little darker i'm gonna go with the number two but i'm not gonna go against the grain i'm only gonna go with the grain which means i'm only cutting the top hairs so we're just gonna do a little quick lineup right here again pushing all the hair forward guys always push your hair forward before you do your lineup and as always as you guys know when i do my lineups i do them i do one side first and then i'll turn the chair around and i'll do the other side as you guys can see i don't really move around a lot when i'm doing my haircuts i kind of stay behind my client and i do my i do my move my chair a lot you know I, I let my chair do the work i work smart not hard and that's the thing you gotta do when you're a barber you gotta work smart not hard if you work hard well, guess what you're gonna be super tired by the end of the night and guess what if you're doing 15 20 haircuts you're gonna be exhausted by the end of the night you gotta work smart stay behind your client work on a uh on a on a what you call it on, on a one of those sponges that's under your chair you know the um, a mat because mats are important my shop has mats on them because if not your feet are going to be aching by the end of the day so right there i'm just trying to get that corner nice and tight get that 90 degree angle get that nice little crisp corner never go across to the other side i only stay on one side remember guys this is my own technique right here um this is the way i do these types of haircuts um you know I, i'm just trying to help you guys better your barbering career um you could call this the the you could call this haircut the, the white boy way of doing black people haircuts i guess because you know i'm i'm just i'm just mexican guy trying to do these haircuts but at the same time like i said guys with practice determination passion you could get it this done you know i'm passionate about what i do so when i don't know how to do something i throw myself in it and i just learn it you know and you have to get you have to get good at things you know flat tops you know this types of haircut hard haircuts you know they, they have they're hard but you still got to do them and if you're going to be a barber how are you going to be a barber and not call yourself a, a barber and not be able to do them you know and there's only one way of doing them and that's just jumping in and doing them never shy away from haircuts never shy away from haircuts guys that's the best advice I can give you. In this business, never let walk, money walk out of your chair. Take everything down. They come in, you do them. Right here, guys, I'm same thing again. I'm just going, shaving them up, getting them all nice and tight, getting the last of the, uh, of the uh, hairs right there. See right there, I see a little bit darkness right there. So I'm trying to get that down a little bit more. So I'm going again with my number two with the grain only not against the grain i don't want to go against the grain because if i go with against the grain and number two right there for sure you're going to leave a big dark spot right there came back with a one and a half and i'm just cleaning up that little side right there just little detail feel little detail things like this and make your haircuts pop guys so right here we're just finishing up the last detail parts of this haircut guys this is pretty much it this haircut is complete um you know I, I was going over here with the three and a half and i just noticed there was some little hairs on top and and i'm just wondering like man i i used to think like how do i get these little tiny hairs you know the machine's not getting it i don't want to go any lower and, and they're just little straggler hairs so you know from watching other videos i picked up this little technique and, and, and what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to grab my my uh, uh wall uh, uh shaver i don't use my brawn for this i don't even know if the brawn will work for this but i use a wall uh uh, de uh finale uh, 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 shaving machine and I'm just going to go over the top real quick and grab the little hairs that are on top because those little hairs, the little straggler hairs, they make a difference they, they, you know, the, when the guy looks up in the air, at the mirror and he looks inside himself, first thing he does is look at the sides and looks at the top, if he sees the little stragglers there, he's going to be like, what the heck so this is a little thing that I picked up from watching other people and I'm just going to go back right here with my shaver, check this out and you just kind of clean them up 
just run it along glide it along the top never touching their hair just just basically cutting those little hairs off and that's what makes the haircut pop guys little detail stuff like this guys that's it for this haircut um this tutorial is over i appreciate you guys watching remember guys this is my way of cutting this type of hair i'm no expert at cutting black hair i'm just doing my part learning my part trying to show you guys uh, and this is the this is the the mexican way of cutting black people hair i guess you could say but hey guys i appreciate you guys watching uh um again guys join the team hit the subscribe button hit that bell button so we get all the notifications when i drop a new video i'm coming out with new content every single day blogs product reviews tutorials i'm in it i'm in it to win it guys and you know what guys i hope to see you there grind on see you guys later